Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome everybody to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to go find wait, Virgil. Wait, so wait. without further ado, so let me get let's straight. get started. There was an old Chinese and like always, let's go ahead and put a few levels in. I grinded out a few levels because we're going to be going to the glowing sea today. So I needed at least three levels into rad resistance. I advise everybody else to do the same. If you can't or you just don't want to, bring some power armor or hazmat suit. With that being said, let's actually start Arbor. making our way to Virgil. Jeez, now I heard everything. Yo, dog meat. What the hell are you doing, man? Dr. Amari? Yes. Wait, I know you. You're on the railroad. What's this all about? We need your help, Doctor. I need the memories from a man named Kellogg. But he's dead. I know it's asking for a miracle, Omari. But you've pulled off the impossible before. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse. You don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is, a brain implant could fit him. But that's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right, let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine, just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. I'm static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Tell me you have a way past this, Doc. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we used to? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. All right, let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. <laughs> 
Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. And that makes it official, folks. The final vote count from the Hobbit... Turn down the goddamn radio! In favor of I'm trying to sleep! All five states have now signed on, which means that as of this moment, we are... Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. Mm, what a joke. What's it mean, Mom? Nothing, Connie. People like to talk and hope someone else is going to keep them safe. Teacher at school said the NCR would bring back the good old days. Like, before the big war. Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop singing you if that's what they're teaching you. I'm going out. Where the fuck did you put my boots? Listen to me, Connie. You take this. You're old enough. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless, but you won't turn out like him. You're a good boy. And all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hands. You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. I... I will, Mom. I promise. I won't let you down. You've always been my good boy. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. It's going to be fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You've got to give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know. But that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. I know, Connie. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. You'll see. That's no, okay. I got her. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. I found another memory to try. I'll connect you.
Mind if we uh, sit down? Suit yourself. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And, uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job is done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it? So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Systems offline. Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We are running out of brain here. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Manual override initiated. Cryogenic stasis. Suspended. Vault computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all... Just... find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. This is the one. Here. Open it. <coughs> is it over? <coughs> Are we okay? Almost. Everything's gonna be fine. Come here. Come no, here, wait. baby. No, no. I've got him. Let the boy go. I'm only going to tell you once. I'm not giving you son! God damn it. Get the kid out of here and let's go. At least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. What's the holdup? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Come on, come on, come on. All right, we're good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. In the, uh, Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory. So, good news, I think. Oh boy. Piper has really done it this time. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying she's right, but... Mayor, you know, he's gonna be really mad this time. I probably shouldn't have even, uh... Kellogg. <laughs> it's okay. But I did. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. 
Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Bye. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Man, that was a lot of backstory for Kellogg. Also, a lot of people like to theorize... Hold on, let's get out of here and then we'll talk. Slow movements, okay? I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? I have this burning feeling inside my skull. It's like it's on fire. That's not surprising. All the synapses in your brain have just been pulled apart, connected to someone else, and then pulled back together. I injected you with a large stim pack while I was pulling you out. That should ease things. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? There's more than one person who knows about the Institute. Virgil, that scientist who escaped. I didn't know Institute scientists could defect. This changes everything. He could answer all sorts of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That can't be right. No one would risk going there, not even to hide. That's why he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation in the glowing sea like a shield or a cloak. A way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. I'll find a way to get through the rads. Don't worry. Good luck. And be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Remove the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Now we can talk for a second. Um, what I was saying is a lot of people like to theorize that the player character is a synth. And maybe I'm wrong about this, but I don't think so. And I think because what we just went through kind of shows that we can't be a synth. But again, I could be wrong. And it's just a fun theory. And take it for what it is. Let's take all this rat away and rat X. We are going to need it. And then over here, we'll grab Grognak and the Ruby Ruin. Yes. This is our last Robco. Let's go talk to Mr. Valentine. Nick. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. K. 
Kellogg? Is that you? What? What are you talking about? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Amari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Let's get going, Nick. Been one heck of a ride so far. Let's see where it takes us next. Sounds like Ellie needs to talk to us. We should head back to the office next chance. Lowest place in the Commonwealth. We are going to fast travel over to the radio station. The WRVR broadcast station. I'll see everybody there. Everything not nailed down. Pull our gun out. This is probably going to be a longer episode just because of the distance we have to travel and the amount of stuff that we're going to be getting in this episode today. We're essentially getting most of the magazines that are left, the rest of the magazines and uh, bobblehead, um, because we'll only have one bobblehead left after this that we can get is only going to be able to be recovered by doing the main mission. I'm not sure if I want to do the main mission before the Far Harbor DLC or after. And what I mean by that is like, I'm not sure if I want to beat the game now in the next episode or two or Wait until after the DLC. Not sure just yet, but I'll have to make that decision soon because we are getting close. Be careful. There's usually a suicider over here. Speaking of which, there he is. Blow him up. Trying to take out all of them. I'm pretty sure the Brotherhood of Steel can take care of the rest. If they can't. Nah, they suck. I'm just kidding. We're gonna take this very overgrown road. This is gonna lead us to the glowing sea, but we're not going to the glowing sea just yet. Good lord. They're about to blow up while well, their vertebrate is, at least. Like I was saying, we're not going to go to the glowing sea just yet. We're just going to go to the marker. We're actually going to go to a vault first. And this vault, if you have maxed out Kate's affinity, you will be able to start her companion quest and help her out. And you'll have to go to this vault anyways. I just don't see a point to doing every companion's quest. Um, it's just very time consuming. Son of a bitch. This guy hurts. There's another one. <laughs> that was a lot easier. 
Nice. That's actually a pretty good piece of combat armor. We're going to come over these rocks here. I was sure that there was another guy. Oh. I was like, I was sure there was another gunner over here. Take out both those assault trons before they become a problem. gonna stay crouched we're actually coming in here to get the big guns bobblehead we're not gonna spend a lot of time in here again because if you're really coming to this vault to do anything it's probably gonna be for Kate's um, companion quest and we're just here to grab the bobblehead also I mean I prefer certain companions but i hope everybody's trying out their own companions you know seeing which ones they like or prefer or if you don't like a companion you can be pretty beefy without using any companions even if it's just dog meat that you're using you can still become very very beefy something up. the lone wanderer perk alone is in my opinion, a very overpowered Anyone perk. You walk away from. I guess asking for a date's out of the question at this point. I think that is all we gotta take out here. Be careful. There is some trip wires bunch of grenades let's loot them if only for the experience I know it's not a crazy amount of experience but still we're gonna go through this take a right take that out take another right <gasps> Take them out. Oh, I thought I was going to one-shot that gunner, but I did not. Let's turn off this radio. No accounting for tape. Bingo. There's the big guns bobblehead. I mean, it's not the greatest bobblehead, but it's something. Let's head out of Vault 95. We'll take down this as well. Again, for the experience. Now we're going to head into the Glowing Sea. I'd advise everybody, again, if you don't have the points into rad resistance definitely take some power armor or take a hazmat suit the only problem with taking a hazmat suit is it's not very good at protecting you so you'll take a lot more damage and damn nick where did you come from bud Uh, we don't have to crouch anymore. We can stand up.
I'm really, really excited to get back into the Far Harbor DLC. I haven't played the Far Harbor DLC in years now, and I really enjoyed that DLC. It's just so much fun. Let's take some Radex, heal our rads, and heal our cells. We're definitely going to take more radiation damage, but... Not much you can do about it. My advice to everybody is just keep heading west and we're going to get to a cabin. We're going to go around this uh, pond of uh, radiated water. You don't want to walk through the irradiated water. And the glowing sea. The glowing sea is extremely dangerous, by the way. So, take it for what it is. If you want to fight every enemy you come across, have at it. I don't know if I will. Wow. Clean house. Can't believe I missed that. That was 91% chance, but wasn't 100% chance. That's what counts. Yeah, getting close to that water will start to give you radiation damage as well. Give for some industrial whatever you say Nick whatever you say bud just keep heading west we're gonna go around this broken highway here or interstate. I'm not quite sure what it is. And I don't think it really matters. That is one. Sting wings suck. Because not only do they hit you, they poison you. I'm pretty the sure they are supposed to be mutated wasps. But again, don't quote me on that kind of stuff, because I'm not sure. If you look down at the compass, that little tent kind of looking shape where the W is, that's where we're heading. That is the cabin. Let's go around this rock. I was going to try to... Go up it. Said, fuck it. And of course, the scorpion goes underground. I don't know where he went. Me with my amazing accuracy there. Sounded like being attacked again I apologize for turning around a lot it's just the glowing sea is extremely dangerous let's heal our rads you have to get this key or else we can't get inside let's go inside Let me ask you something. Sure, ask away. It's just, uh, with everything that's happened with you and your, your family, it's a whole hell of a lot to process. I wanted to make sure you're holding up all right. Yeah, I'm all right. Huh, you're a tougher nut than I thought. 
Tougher than I was. Took me a long damn time to get a feel for this place. Thank goodness I found Diamond City. It's got its flaws, sure, but it beats the hell out of anywhere else in the Commonwealth. Of course, when I took up there back when, people were just as scared of the Institute as they are now. Maybe more. The massacre of the CPG was still pretty fresh in people's minds at that point, and folks were still losing sleep over the broken mask. Plenty of people assumed I was just a saboteur, moving in to melt down the reactor or poison the drinking water. But at the time, they couldn't exactly turn me away. Why'd they let you in? Because I'd rescued the mayor's daughter. Gal of about 15. Pride and joy of the mayor back then. Man by the name of Henry Roberts. The young Miss Roberts decided she'd run off with some caravan hand she'd, uh, <clears throat> known for an evening. Turns out the guy was part of a gang of kidnappers. I didn't even know who I was rescuing, just stumbled on a crying girl and four toughs. I took her home and the mayor dubbed me a hero, offered me a place in town. Lots of folks protested, said I was a spy, but he wouldn't have it. Taking up in the city was tricky at first, but I never tried to hide what I was, and people seemed to warm to that. Was it hard settling in? Yeah, they sure didn't make it easy. I started off doing the jobs no one else wanted. I got more banged up being Diamond City's handyman than I ever did living out in the ruins. But I guess folks never forgot I rescued the mayor's daughter, so they started coming to me when people went missing. Wife runs off with a new paramour and takes the rent money with her? Talk to the synth. An upset father decides moving him and the kids to good neighbor in the dead of night's not the worst damn idea since the bomb? Go get Nick. After a while, the jobs got so backed up, they didn't even ask me to do the handyman stuff anymore. Hell, I was so happy to do it, it was months before I started charging anyone. I never stopped being Nick the synth, but it was Nick the detective folks came to see. It was about then that things, uh, well, things finally started feeling normal. It took me a long time to realize that home is where you make it. Eh, with some time and effort, this place can be home for you, too. That's a long story, but I hope it helps. Want to get moving? Man, that story is quite a story from Nick. And hands down, I think Nick is probably one of the best fleshed out characters or companions and most interesting uh, companions in Fallout 4. Again, it's just my opinion. Take it for what it is. Let's listen to this hollow tape. <clears throat> this is government employee number zero one one. Uh, uh, screw this government You're a bullshit. And now I'm wondering this is Bizensky. Why? The sirens. They they came so fast. The alarm. The only ones we could save were on duty. Stevens had left to get something out of his car. Stevens. He's gone. We had to close the door before he could even turn around. The protocol said we had to. I could. I could hear him screaming. That was days ago. We're already running out of food. This place was not as well stocked as they claimed. Goddamn budget cuts. If anyone is listening to this, my name is Jeff Bozinski. Tell my wife, Wilma, that I love her. Goodbye. We're going to head down. We're going to grab our last U.S. Covert Operations Manual. We have a few synths to take out, though, first. Hostile sensor reading detected. Doesn't 
Oh, um, come on, Nick. There you are. <laughs> right in the way. Good lord. Last of them. I don't know why I stayed crouched. Also, if you're looking for some power armor, here's some X01. It should normally be X01, depending on your level, but you should be a high enough level at this point. There we go. Pick up the US Covert Operations Manual, which is a Star Wars Easter egg. Not enough folks value. And then we're going to hack this terminal, to look at that terminal. And we're going to open up that elevator there. Let's do that now. Be careful when you do activate the elevator. Or, well, you reboot the system. But as soon as you do, those robots are going to attack you. Take some more Radix. We're gonna hang a right. Now we're gonna go south. We are heading to the crater where the initial bomb um, had dropped. The one that we seen at the beginning of the game. Take out the sting wings. Earlier, I was like, I'm not going to fight everything in here. But to be honest, if you don't take care of some of these enemies, you're probably going to be in trouble. Yes. Course. All right. I think Nick must have taken him out. Just keep heading south. Eventually, you'll see a radioactive kind of symbol on the bottom of the compass. Son of a bitch. Holy shit. That is a lot. That is way too many. Good lordy. Dumb move. Is that the last of them? Yeah. That's okay if you're playing like a low health character. Guess it's not that bad. We're actually going to head up top this way, and we'll hang a left. That way we can come straight down the crater. We'll heal our rads again. Hopefully nothing else attacks us. And if it is, if it is, <laughs> if it does, um, hopefully it's not mole rats. Because they suck. Well, they're not that bad, but still. Let's talk to Stop this right person. There, stranger. You approach Atom's holy ground. Why? State your purpose or be divided in his sight. I'm here because I need your help. Do you seek division? Have you come to merge with Atom? 
to be split in his infinite glory, or do you seek to tear down his followers? I'm looking for someone named Virgil. Virgil? Yes, we know this Virgil. What do you want with him? I just need some information from him. I see. In truth, this Virgil has caused some concern. Some believe his presence is an affront to Adam. Though he came to trade with us on a few occasions, we have had little other contact with him. It was quite clear he wanted to be left alone. You can find him southwest of the crater, living in a cave. I would approach cautiously were I you. I feel he does not want visitors. Let's go up top these stairs really fast. We're going to grab an astoundingly nice. awesome Tails. We'll take less damage from ghouls. That's a good thing. Take some more rad, rad, not rad away, rad X. Come on, Mr. Wayne. I don't think there's ever going to be a day that I'm not fumbling over my words. Just saying. We're taking extra damage as well because I believe there is a rad storm at the moment. Did I say damage? Radiation damage is what I was meaning. Of course. Everything wants to kill you here. Be careful. Go into our stats. <gasps> Maybe. Holy moly. Ugh. Another one. And another one. Lots of legendaries. Woo. Oh, that's a pretty cool knife. That's from the DLC, the Nuka World DLC. The Disciples are a pretty cool gang. If you see this plane here, this crash plane, going the right way. Let's just reload. I know it's only 10 rounds, but better safe than sorry, am I right? go around this rock formation pretty sure we're gonna run into a death claw before Virgil and I believe that the death claw is kind of always here Woo. don't step through that like I almost did Death Claws shouldn't be too much trouble for you at this point. Hold it. Take it nice and slow. No sudden moves. I know you're from the Institute. So where's Kellogg? Huh? Trying to sneak up on me while you distract me? It's not going to work. I'm not stupid. I knew they'd send him after me. Take it easy. Kellogg's dead. Dead? He's... dead. Don't you lie to me! I'm not lying. I killed him myself. Did you? Kellogg was ruthless. There's a reason the Institute used him to do their dirty work for so many years. I knew they'd send him after me. Tried to prepare for it. 
but I still wasn't sure I'd make it. And so you... You killed him, eh? Then what do you want with me? Why did you leave the Institute? I know you came from there. You know about the escape? But how? No. It doesn't matter. I'm not going back. I can't go back. Look at me! Why are you even here? What do you want? Relax. I just need to know how to get in there. Wait, what? Are you serious? You want to get into the Institute? Are you insane? Never mind how nearly impossible that is. Even if you were to succeed, it'd almost certainly end in your immediate death. What reason could you possibly have for taking that kind of risk? I'm trying to find my son. The Institute kidnapped him. Oh. Oh no. I had no idea. I'm sorry. Yeah. The Institute has taken people from the Commonwealth in the past. If your son is one of them, I can understand why you'd want to get in there. I can help, but I'm going to need something in return. You help me and I'll help you. All right. If I help you, you're going to do something for me. Before I was forced to leave, I was working on a serum to reverse this mutation. It could return me to normal, you understand? So if you get in there, I need you to find it in my old office and bring it to me. I think that's pretty reasonable in exchange for helping you, all right? Let's talk details. First things first, you know how synths get in and out of the Institute? Yeah, they use some sort of teleporter. Well, well. Not many know about it. Pretty closely guarded secret. You've certainly done your homework. It's commonly referred to as the molecular relay. I don't understand all the science behind it, but it works. Dematerializes you in one place, rematerializes you in another. I'm sure it sounds crazy, but it's a reality. The Relay is the only way in and out of the Institute. You understand? The only one. That means you're going to have to use it. Now, have you ever seen an Institute courser? No, never heard of them. Another secret of the Institute. Trust me, it's good that you haven't found out the hard way. Coursers are Institute synths, designed for one purpose. They're hunters. Operations go wrong, a synth goes missing, and a courser is dispatched. They're very good at what they do, and you're going to have to kill one. Let's go. Just point me in the right direction. Well, I suppose your enthusiasm counts for something. Every courser has special hardware that gives them a direct connection to the relay in the Institute. It's embedded in a chip in their heads. You need that chip. But to get it, you'll have to find a courser. Now I don't know exactly where you can find one. They haven't sent any after me. And sitting here waiting doesn't seem like a good plan. You're going to have to hunt one down. I can tell you where to start and give you some help finding one. But you'll have to do the dirty work. Okay, let's get to work. Right. The primary insertion point for coursers is in the ruins of CIT, directly above the Institute. So you'll want to head there. Now, the relay causes some pretty heavy interference all across the EM spectrum. You've got a radio on that pip boy, right? When you get to the ruins, tune it to the lower end of the band and listen in. You'll be able to hear the interference. Follow the signal, and it'll lead you to a courser. Then, you just have to... not get killed. Not gonna lie. The odds aren't in your favor here. But if you do make it, remember what I said about the serum. I need it badly. I... I really do hope you find what you're looking for. Virgil is a really cool character. 
Let's grab this Tesla Science. Yes. Battles are won with fists. Wars with wits. And then we're going to head out. Let's put on some more Radix. And we have one more stop before we end the video. We're going to head to the Sentinel site. We're going to grab a magazine. And then we will end the video there. Let's get rid of our rads again. We used a lot of Radaway and Radix in this episode as well. But I mean, we are in the glowing sea, so there's that. Just keep heading east. Got another death claw. That's one kicked off dino. Won't underestimate us again. Got a level. Put that level in real quick. We'll actually put the level into Ninja. Since that's what we were trying to do in the first place. The Sentinel site is not too far away. It looks like a pyramid. And on your compass, it'll kind of have a pyramid shape. And if you're going with the Brotherhood storyline, you will come back to the Sentinel site as well. Ugh, sting wings. Let's hope they didn't see me. Uh, I'm no I got the experience for the sentinel site I was gonna say I think Nick killed one but nope let's go inside we're gonna head down this first level here we really don't have far to go to get the magazine. Come down these stairs. Look to your right. There Boom. we go. Astoundingly awesome tails. And this is a really good one because we gain plus five radiation resistance. So now we can resist radiation even more. Also, this is the Sentinel Site Blast Door Override. You pick it up. If you go into a terminal, any of the terminals, I believe, you can turn off that annoying beeping sound. I'm not going to bother with it because we're at the end of the episode. I hope everybody enjoyed the episode. Uh, I just want to say thank you, and I really appreciate everybody stopping by. If you enjoyed the episode, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in down in the comments below it only helps the channel also if you enjoy content just like this be sure to subscribe and like always everybody have a good morning a good afternoon or a good night or whatever time it may be in your part of the world mr john wayne signing off